Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Redis server on Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image already comes with a Redis CLI installed in it. So simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose a deployment name and most importantly, choose the region or zone where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. Scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirement. Scroll down and choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. After that, simply scroll down, accept the agreement and click on deploy. After that, you need to simply wait for the deployment process to complete. After the deployment is complete, the next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So for that, you can simply click on this button that says SSH. So that is going to open up a new window, which is going to connect to the SSH service of our virtual machine. Now once connected to the SSH terminal, you can verify the installation of Redis by running the command redis-cli space ping. This is because our Redis service is already running on our newly created virtual machine. Now after that, this Redis installation is set to default settings. So if you want to check out the configuration for Redis, simply type in sudo nano and then forward slash etc forward slash redis forward slash redis dot configuration and then hit enter. Now this is the configuration file. So this has multiple options like the bind IP address or the URL. Basically this Redis works on the local host. So that is where we get the IP address as 127.0.0.1. And after that we have the port number which is 6379, the TCP backlog, the time log and the keeper lifetime. And one important feature or one important setting over here is the log file. Now if you want to log everything, you can put a file name over here, but you would have to create that file as well. So just for an example, if I want my log file to exist at forward slash etc, forward slash redis, and then the name of the file would be redis log. After that, I can simply do control O, hit enter control X. Now, if you want to use the redis CLI, then you simply need to type in the command redis hyphen CLI and then hit enter. So that is going to open up the redis CLI. Now you can run commands like set, let's say my key and my secret password hit enter and then you can fetch that as well by typing in get my key so this means that our redis is working perfectly so that also brings us to the end of this video now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for google cloud platform and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up redis and if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.